Mon tokenomics is poor grimes. But is it really that bad? Hey guys, so this is Tang from the Stack Studio team. Um, today I'm gonna give you an overview on Monad, their tokenomics, what I like, what I don't like. But first, what is Monad? So Monad is a high performance decentralized L1 blockchain that is fully EVM compatible. The Monad stack includes Monad BFT consensus algorithm, uh, which is designed for high throughput and efficient node communications. Monad DB, which is their custom database and optimistic parallel executions module for faster and more efficient processing. But what makes Monad special? According to Hasu, um, the simple boom case for Monad remained unchanged from when he invested in 2022. Um, it's Solana before EVM. Monad rebuilt the entire stack from the round up and optimized it for high performance and parallel executions on the EVM. And EVM network effect is just much, much bigger than SVM. So it remains a big opportunity for Monad to capture. Hasep from Dragonfly also shared his thoughts on why Dragonfly bet big on Monad um, to quote him. Blockchain are not dumped. Monad, in my opinion, is the most ambitious attempt to try to get the parallelism and performance in super high throughput decentralized blockchain just like Solana, Aptos, and Suite into the form factor of the blockchain dominant programming paradigms, the EVM. So let's take a quick look into Monad history. Um, in 2022, Category Labs, formerly known as Monad Labs, was formed by Keon, James, and Onis after the time at Jump and TradFi. Um, they closed a reseed round in December 2022, um, backed by Dragonfly. And in 2023, they are fully head out buildings. In 2024, they launched the public testnet and raised the seed and Serie A round, which was led by Paradigms. In 2025, um, they continued stress testing the chain, onboarding early infra partners and let, uh, let app builders experiment with the chains. And right now, in November 2025, um, they, are, they carry out a public token sales on Coinbase and the mainnet launch will happen next week. Now, let's take a look into Monad tokenomics. 3.3% will go toward the airdrops. 7.5% will be allocated to the public sales, which will be ended um, on 22 of November. And private investor will uh, account it for 19.7%, uh, while the team will be allocated 27%. Um, 4% will go toward category labs treachery. Um, in my opinion, uh, this also means the team. So the team will have 31%. And the last one, 38.5% uh, will go toward ecosystem development for app incentive, uh, user reward, validator programs, and other grow initiative. So let's take a look into the token unlock schedule. Investor and team tokens are subjected to a four year lockup period. Um, the clips unlock begin 12 months after TGE on November 24th of 2026. And the final unlock for investor and team members is on November 24th, 2029. Um, one good thing about Monad is that lock to tokens cannot be staked. This means team members and investors cannot stake their lock tokens and sell the staking reward on the open market and dump the price. So this put the initial total supply at 100 billion tokens and initial circulating supply at 49.3 billion tokens. So I want to break this down a little bit. Um, the initial circulating supply includes airdrops, public token sales, and ecosystem developments. The ecosystem tokens will be managed by the Monad Foundation and used for grants, incentive, and validator delegation programs. And if only three to 5% of the ecosystem fund is used in the first year, the real circulating supply is closer to 13.8% to 15.8%. And the inflation rate is set at 25 mon per block. So for every block, um, the Monad blockchain will issue 25 mon tokens 
uh, and those MON token will be distributed toward uh, staker and validator uh, for securing the network. This implies a 2% inflation based on the total token supply per year. So let's take a look into their fundraising status. In 2022, um, they raised a reseed round for 19.6 million from Dragonfly. In 2022, um, they raised their seed round for 22.6 million. And in the same years, they raised their Serie A round, which were led by Paradigms for 220.5 million. The valuation for each round was not disclosed in um, their documents. So what is MON token utilities? MON can be used for paying gas fee, securing the network through staking, allowing validators, developers, and users around long-term protocol role. So this is somewhat similar to other air ones on the market. Now let's take a look into MON public token sales on Coinbase. The valuation is 2.5 billion USDC, which implies the price per token is 0.025 USDC. Up to 7.5% of the total supply is up for sales, with a minimum bid size is $100 and the maximum bid size is $100,000. Um, there's no lockup period, and the sale will end on November 22nd or November 23rd, depending on where you live. So far, 135 million USDC has been requested out of 187.5 million USDC available. So on bullion market, people are betting on the total subscriptions will be between 300 and 400 million. So there's still like two or three more days until the end of the sales. So I think the total request for MON tokens will be between 300 to 400 million USDC. And if you look into Hyper Liquid or Lighter, MON is trading free market between 0.035 to 0.07. So if you participate into the Convey token sales and get some allocations, you will be up for like 1.5 to 2x immediately. Betting on MON means betting on first, the Monad ability to attract EVM builders. Second, high throughput infra will open up new use case. Third, the Monad communities will continue to grow over time. And fourth, decentralization. So of course, there are also challenges and risks. Um, for example, first, uh, the competition landscape is brutal with Mega ETH, Suite, Solana, and new stablecoin chains like Stable, Plasma, or Arc from Circles. Second, the majority of the MON tokens are locked and will hit the mainnet after one year. Third, market favor app specific chains like Hyperliquid, Lighters, or Lasma more. Who knows? That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stack your MON with Stakesido to support our content and follow us for more Monad ecosystem videos. See you.